Hi everyone, just wanted to say, uh, please watch part one first if you haven't, and for two, this video is going to contain some darker themes, and I just kind of wanted to let everyone know before going in, because I kind of realized I should probably start doing this before videos start. But yeah, uh, please enjoy and watch part one if you haven't. Alright, alright, I want a good clean shootout today, you two. You're going down, kid. Come on, Twisted Bonnie, you don't gotta keep calling me a kid no more. Eh, respect the elders, I guess is what I'll say. Alright, one... Two, fire! <laughs> One, two, fire! 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 <sighs> we'll call this one a draw today. Ah! You hear that? A draw! Still not faster than me. Maybe it was just luck. I'll show you luck. <laughs> Come on, boy, sniff it out, sniff it out! <laughs> You're getting better at it! You okay, Belle? Huh? Uh, yeah, um, I'm fine. You seem kind of down today. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I've just been meaning to tell Bond something, and I just don't really know how to tell him. What? You two are siblings. How could you not tell him something? I don't know, it's, it's complicated. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah. Y'all know I won today. I won. You did not. It was a technical draw. Yeah, Twisted Bonnie, how's that considered a win? It is under my roof. I'm getting ever so close to the surpassing you, kid. Yeah, and under my mentorship. Besides, it took you five or six rounds to even draw me in the first place. That's my bro. Aw, you too, sis. She's always got my back, you hear? <laughs> <sighs> hey, Bon. Uh, can I... Can I... Can I... Uh... Hmm? What was that? C can you what? Uh, can I... I, uh... Um... Sis, what, what's wrong? You're freezing up on me here. Um... Uh... All right, everyone, kids, gentlemen, ladies. It's dinner time. Now come eat! I bring food! I hope the meds made some delicious cheese. Mac and cheese. Sis, what is it? Oh, uh... It's nothing, Bonnet. It's nothing. Let's just go eat. All right, everyone, gather, gather. Ah, spread looks beautiful tonight, ladies. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, run along now, run along. Thank you. All right, everyone, bow your heads. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence with us. Bless this food to our bodies, that we may be strong to serve, gracious in giving, and overflowing with love. Amen. Oh, All right, everyone, let's dig in now. <laughs> hey, uh, sis, um, you got something to tell me? Uh, is this about earlier? Bon, don't worry about it. Sis, come on, you were holding something back here. You two got something to share with the class? Oh, uh, sorry, Pa. No, we're just uh, small talk. It's just small talk. All right, all right. Happy the mission went well last week. Ah, true. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without this boy sniffing, though. He's been getting real good at it. Yes, I sniff out for delicious smells. Normally, it's only cheese, but I can't believe I've been able to harness this cheese so well. I bet they can even tell which color they're on today, Mr. Tiger Rock. I'm sure you can, boy. No, don't. That's a little creepy. <sighs> oh, Belle, I almost forgot to tell you. Huh? I know you've been wearing that same red dress for years, so I figured I'd give you an upgrade. Huh? Wait, really? Huh? Yeah. I got our tailor making you a nice new blue dress. I figured it'd go more with your outfit. Oh, uh... Thanks. Th thanks, Tiger Rock. Of course, dear. Anything for my angel. So, Belle, uh... 
Not trying to one-up both you and your brother, but, uh... Can you get around to teaching me some of your acrobatic skills? Honestly, I want to, too. That stuff seems interesting. Bell? Bell? Bell! What? What? I was asking about acrobatics. Uh, can you teach me some? I second that, by the way. Just letting you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I can, I can get around to it. Look, um, Papa, the food's real good and all, but I'm just not really feeling it. I think I got kind of a tummy ache. Can, can I be excused from the table? Come on, girl, the maids made this nice meal. Now come on, eat up. Really, Papa, sir, I'm just not really that hungry. <sighs> all right, suit yourself. Thank you, sir. Can I have your leftovers? Oh, uh, sure, Twisted Foxy, uh, go ahead. Whoa! I, uh, gotta use the bathroom. Uh, okay. Just be right back before your food gets cold, boy. Hey, uh... Sis. Bell? Fine. We're doing this the hard way. She needs help. I don't like seeing her like this. Wait, what if she's changing? Uh, let me just like squint. <laughs> Belle, what are you doing with my suit? Vaughn, you gave me a heart attack! Oh god, I'm, I'm sorry. What are you doing in here? I shut the door and locked it for a reason! Alright, alright, I'm, I'm sorry. How the heck did you get in here? The vents? We're agents, after all. I kind of figured you knew that. I... <laughs> they should have freaking privacy! Alright, alright, I'm sorry. It's just... Belle, you've been so off today. <laughs> You're worrying me. You don't act like this normally, at least... Not that often. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, wh why do you have my suit on? Oh, uh, your suit. Um, well, I, I, uh, I was just, um, just trying it on, because, you know, Tiger Rock's getting me that new, that new dress, that new beautiful blue dress, and, um, you know, I just figured, oh, man, Bonnie must feel real jealous that he's not getting anything nice and new, so I just, you know, want to make sure it was still clean and it still fit well. I mean, yeah, it's a little raggedy, but it's fine. So what are you talking about? You have a completely different body type than I do. You're slenderer, you got longer arms. That thing doesn't even fit you properly. I mean, it looks nice, don't get me wrong. But you look much better in a suit that's more tailored to your size. Uh, y yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm happy for you in your dress. I mean, I know you never really liked the dress, but maybe this new one will be different. At least Tiger Rock bothering to do something nice for you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You don't like the dress, do you? No. And you want a suit, like me. Yeah. I just... Belle, no offense. I just never really understood the whole complication with the suit thing. I've never had a dress on. I don't know what it's like, but, you know, we just never really figured like it would be that big of a deal. Bonnie, that thing I was trying to tell you earlier today... Yeah. Or, well, not trying to tell me, you were kind of just telling me you wanted to tell me about something. Yeah, that. Okay. Mm. Well, spit it out. What is it? It's, it's, not, that, it's not that simple. Not that simple. It will, I mean, it, it takes a second. Just think about how you worded it. I'm, I got all day. You're my sister. I, I care about you. I, I don't why. I, I would rather you take all day figuring out how to word it than not word it at all. You tell me anything. It's just, it's just kind of silly. Silly? Okay, unless you're trying to crack a joke, it's not silly, sis. It's clearly bothering you. I, I, what? I don't, I feel like I'm a boy. Oh. Oh. Huh. I 
know it's stupid. No, it's, it's not stupid. It, 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 that's not stupid. What are you talking about? But, but, but I'm a girl. It's how I've always been raised, you know? It, Bell, that's not stupid. Look, I... It's kind of news to me, but, I mean, if I really think about how you've always been, it, it makes sense. You've always been very... What's the word? Indifferent to feminine things? Sure, you do it, but you don't ever really like it. I like how I like the swagger on my suit, and you also seem to like my suit quite a lot. I thought the suit thing was just, I like suits more than dresses, but it seems like it was a lot more than that. Yeah. Hey, hey, you don't gotta get upset. Look, and I don't even know what this whole thing means, really, for you, anyway. That's kind of something you gotta figure out, but I'm here for you, you know? I'm your brother. We're brothers. Sorry if that comes off as sudden. I, I don't really know what you want to be called and all. I just... I'm here for you, okay? No matter what you're going through, I'm sticking by your side. Because we're family, you know? Me and you. It matters to me. You're the only one in this damn house I trust to tell anything. The Twisted Ones are just nobodies. All the agents that died over the years and retired... They were nice, but they're not you. And Tiger Rock's Tiger Rock. I know he's our dad. Supposedly. But I just feel like I can trust you more. You know? No matter what you are, no matter who you are, I'll always care about you. I'll always love you. Because that's what being a brother is all about. <laughs> You ain't said much for the last couple minutes. You okay? Yeah, I just... I was so worried you were gonna think it's stupid. Come here, bro. It's not stupid. You're not stupid. You're you. And if you is a boy, then you's a boy. That's just kind of how it is. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. You're welcome, but... Uh, not to jump too hasty into things, I don't even know if you've given this thought, but... Have you, uh, thought of a name? No offense, but Belle ain't exactly the most masculine name out there. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but it's not a... Uh, Brooke. I was thinking of going by Brooke. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool, Brooke. I like it. Might take getting some use, too. I might slip up a couple times, but... That's fine. It's fine. It's a big adjustment for anybody. Yeah. I love you, Brooke. I love you too, Bonnie. You know... You're real brave for all this. Huh? What do you mean, brave? I just... You got me thinking about myself. Not to make this about me or anything. Go on, we can, we can change topics. I feel better now. Okay. It's just like... Ever since I was little, I felt like Tiger Rocks always had some kind of influence over who I am as a person. What I do every day, how I eat, how I say grace at the table. This and that, that and this. Just, I feel like he shaped me as a person more than I shaped myself as a person. You're really the one thing that holds me together. Really? Yeah. I think it just hasn't as much influence on you, because... No offense, he raised you as his perfect little angel. I, I guess I just kind of resent you for that a little. I mean, I... I get it. Like, a daughter isn't a reflection of a father. A son is a reflection of a father. I know you want to be a boy, and I know you are a boy on the inside, but... I guess it just makes me wish I was in your shoes. Not that I want to be a girl or anything. Yeah, I, I get that. And that's why I think this whole thing's real brave for you, because you're taking control of your life. You're defining yourself based on your own feelings, your own emotions, your own actions. You're like, hey, I feel this way about myself. I'm going to put my foot down, put my foot forward, and do something about it. I never really had the chance to do that. I don't really know if I ever will. 
I still don't know what happened to us as kids. The memories are real foggy down there. Do you ever wonder if Tiger Rock's our real dad? I mean, it's possible he's not. We're a mafia, you know. Two agents could have just been with him, stumbled upon our mom and pa, and just... Then he found us and raised us as his own. Would explain why we're so good at our jobs, you know, he just... He raised us like this. He raised us to be agents. It's in our nature. Unlike every other 20-something that comes in here, or older, we've been doing this since we were kids. Brooke, you gotta get out of here. Huh? You have so much to do with your life. You have so many ambitions, so many dreams. I just, I see it in you. I know it in you. I know you talk to me about the things you wish you could do. You need to get out of here. I know. What about you? I'm gonna do my damnedest to make it better for you. How? You're gonna run away. Tonight. Tonight? I mean, she would have been waiting for this forever. Really? You kidding? I don't like doing any of this. I mean, I'm proud of how good we are at it, but I don't know if I really like it. I kind of feel similar. That's all I know. Me too. Brooke? Yeah? Go. Please, don't look back. Find shelter, find someone to take you in. I'm sure those people in this town are nice enough. You can figure your own life out. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You're right. I need to go, but what about you? Tiger Rock's gonna kill somebody if I'm gone. I know it. Especially if the both of us are gone. I can cover for you. Honey, you don't have to do that. It's what I want. It's what I want for you. I'm not trying to use you as a step stool, no. I'm trying to use you as a ladder, you know? Let me do this. Let me have control of one thing in my life. Please. Okay. You got everything? It's the last of the necessities, yeah. All right. I guess this is goodbye. God, this is all so sudden. It's what we need, all right? It's what the both of us need. You need to live a better life. I need you to live a better life. Thank you, Bonnie. Anything for you, Brooke. You're my little brother. I wouldn't trade you for nothing. Go. Go. Okay. Oh, shoot. Your suit, um... Brooke, just, just take it. Are you sure? Come on, you'll freeze to death out there and... You look better with it anyway. I'll never take it off. Boy, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Tiger Rock. Sorry, it startled me. I've been waiting for you to come back from the bathroom and you're in here. What are you doing? Have you been crying? What? Cr oh, no, I. sorry, I, I think d dirt got in my eye. Uh-huh, right, dirt. Where is your sister? Oh, uh, I, good, good question. I, I don't know. She must be somewhere else in the house. Uh-huh. What aren't you telling me? Huh? What are you, what are you talking about? It? I'm, I'm, I'm not not telling you anything. Uh-huh. Where is your sister? She, he, she, she's, um... I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Where is 
she at? Uh, 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 Tiger Rock, what the fuck? Where is your sister? Where have you let her go? All right. She's gone. Out of your grubby little hands. My grubby little hands. I raised you. I raised the both of you. Since you was little rabbits. No shot. I know what you did. You took us from our real freaking parents. We're not your freaking kids. How dare you? After everything I've done for the two of you. You're world class agents. Masters of your craft. This is how you repay me. You don't care about me. You just want me as your mini-me. Another little lackey. Someone to do your bidding for you. I don't mean anything to you. I never did. <laughs> Neither did Belle. No. Neither did Brooke. You didn't mean nothing to you either. What's this hogwash you're spitting, boy? You didn't care about us like kids. You cared about us like agents. Using us as your lackeys, we're just your minions, we're just... You ruined our childhoods. You're only mad at me because I'm right. You're only mad because I'm fine with putting my foot down. Go ahead! Fire it between my brains! I don't care what happens anymore. Think about all we've been through. All the things I'll let you do. You're nothing without me, admit it. If you're my mini-me. If you're just a reflection of me, then what are you without me? You're nothing! And that's exactly why you won't shoot that gun. still live under this house, boy. You will respect me. No longer as a father. But as your boss, I will watch every step you take. Every march forward, I will be there. Maybe it's about time I really grab your steering wheel and force you down my road. Because now that your stupid sister's gone, you're the only orphan boy I've got left. You better not be fucking with me. God damn it. Who's there? Uh, who are you? How, how did you get in here? Shh. Calm down. Calm down. Listen. I just want to help you. see that. I can see me and yourself. 
just a man who wants to be able to hold on to something, anything in his own life. You want what any good man wants. Control. Am I hallucinating? No, you're not, you know. I'm just your savior. Someone willing to strip your worries away. You can own your own world. I see this spark in you, in everything you do. I watched you with Roxanne, that wolf girl. You thrive in the moments of control. You're beautiful, like an eagle spreading its wings. You're a world-class agent. A manipulator, deceiver, exactly what I need on my team. No, you just, just like Tiger Rock, you just, you just want to use me! It's more than that. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have phrased it like that. I... I have a family. A beautiful family. People... People you... could live with. People that would care about you. They care about each other a whole lot. I think they care about you too. I think what you need, Bonnie, is a group of people that really care about you. And I do. You're a good kid. I shouldn't keep calling you a kid. You're a good man. You're a good man that just wants best for himself. And that's what any good one would want. Yeah. Yeah. I do. But I can't leave Tiger Rock. He'll hunt me down. He'll kill me. Oh, I'm sure I could talk to him about it. You can't. He's a, he's a dangerous man. You don't want to mess with him. I'm sure I could come to an agreement. I'm a very reasonable person. Okay. Yeah, okay. I will fix all of your problems. All of them? All of them. Okay. Now let me go have a quick talk with this Tiger Rock. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Fancy a game of cards? Huh? Oh, who's who? Who the hell are you? How, how did you get in my my house? Tiger Rock, is it? I've come to do business with you. Weird rabbit man. Listen, I I don't got no business for you. I don't know how you want to schedule someone this late in the night anyway. I, leave me alone. I'm not in the right mindset right now. You've been sipping from the bottle a little too much. Get the... Get the... Get the fuck out of my house. Go ahead. Shoot. I dare ya. Fine, you Chuck E. Cheese motherfucker. What the hell? <laughs> Listen. Enough with the game. What the hell are you? I've come to make a little business proposition with you. I want your boy. He's special. No. I, I, I just lost my little girl. Earlier tonight, I, I can't lose the boy. Your little girl? <sighs> Come on. You know you swiped those kids from their parents when they were just little tots. But, 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 but do my... They're not your kids. You're a fraud. You stole everything from them. No, I, I... I care about them. I... You may care about them somewhere in your cold black heart, but really... Is that what you acted on? Get out of here. Get the hell away from me! You don't know me! Oh, I know a lot of things. I'm good at watching people. I'm not giving you my boy. More money than anyone could think of. 
higher number than I can count to. I would never give up that boy. He means too much to me. Wish you showed it more. Shut up! All that talk, and yet you're still a terrible parent. I'm gonna kill you! Fanny! <laughs> Bad dad gets his due. What are you doing? If you won't give me the boy willingly, then I'll make you. No! No! You, uh... You wanted to see me? Tiger Rock, sir? We hadn't spoken for a few days now. Boy, I spoke to a man the other night. Oh? He called himself Glitch Trap. He offered me something pretty nice for you, boy. Really? Listen. I know uh, it's, uh, it's complicated right now between me and you. And I don't think I'm ever gonna repair what I did to you. How I treated you and Belle. But I I'm willing to put that behind us. To a degree. I'm transferring your employment contract to Mr. Glitchtrap. I think, I think you'd find it better fit there. You get to be your own man, make your own plans under his roof. As long as you're okay with that. But I imagine you'd be more than willing to accept his offer. Wow, um, yeah, I, uh, yeah. That'd be great. Come here. Just one last hug before you pack up and go. Sure. I may have been a cruel, bitter old man. No more fit as a boss than a dad. But I loved you and your sister. And I just wanted to see you shine. Shine like stars. Thanks, Pops. And I'm sorry for what I did to you. Man. Clistrap is a good negotiator. Run along now. Go get your stuff packed. You leave in the morning. Thanks, Tiger Rock. Needed that. From the bottom of my heart, boy, I love you. I always will. <sighs> Told you I'd solve all your problems, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Now, come on, Bonnie. Let's get you ready for the show. But he... He didn't solve all my problems. There's still you. And through it all, the heartbreak, the hardship, my own self-doubt, and yet, I still can't find you. Hey, Bonnie, it's okay. We're both in better places now. I know we'll see each other again someday. I miss you, Brooke. I miss you too, Bonnie. 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 Huh? 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 Hey, uh, sorry to wake you up, but uh, the food's here, so I hope you can come eat before you tuck in for the night. Oh. Uh. Right. Right. Uh. How long was I out? About 45 minutes, give or take. Jeez. 
you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I kind of had a weird dream. Hey, it's all right, man. Look, I'm sorry about what happened earlier. We all are. It was an invasion of your privacy, and it deserves to be respected. We all just want to let you know that we're here to talk if you ever need it. Or if you don't, then you don't. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, I... I think I'm good now. Oh, good. That's good. Alright, let's go eat. I'm starving. Agreed. Hey, Brooke. How's it going? Good. It's going good. What can I get you for tonight? Uh, just a sweet cocktail, please. Alrighty. Uh, how will you be paying? Uh, I'll just pay off my tap tonight. Sounds good to me. There you go. Alrighty. Hey, uh, Brooke. I think you accidentally handed me this when you were handing me your card. Oh, uh, sorry. That, uh, just a picture. Who's in it next to you, if you mind me asking? Uh, well, uh, he's my brother. I miss him every day. Aw, that's sweet. Hope you find him. Uh, let me go get your drink. I love you, Bonnie. Wherever you are.